Security and combat experts from analytic services have come to Osan Air Base to train members from the Security Forces Squadron on different tactics, techniques, and procedures that could prove to be very valuable in different situations. This training starts with the basics. We start with just a basic isosceles shooting platform. We move through all different weapons manipulation techniques. Um, we teach them team movements and all these things culminate so that they can run a seamless operation and have seamless integration no matter what officers show up on the scene. From basic maneuvers to more complex drills, these techniques incorporate a realistic perspective of what they may likely encounter in a real world situation. Uh, so far it's been uh, really, really good. Uh, the techniques that we've learned uh, is it brings everything from the past of uh, the history of the active shooter and uh, this course helps incorporate then from now and uh, all the trends that uh, used to be shown of what worked and what didn't work and this course helps eliminate the in-between part. Whether you've been in for 10 years or new to the Air Force, these procedures demonstrate that you can never be too prepared. The course is important because it's given security forces members the tactics, techniques and procedures to eliminate an active shooter or any other kind of high risk response threat. Active shootings and a man with a gun type situations are occurring more frequently. We have one in the United States almost once every three weeks right now. So this is a very high likelihood of this could happen at some time in their career, yes. Air Force Staff Sergeant Isaac Garden, Osan Air Base, Korea.